the first thing that St. Clair and Sands will know about this match is waking up in the dressing room afterwards. Isn't that right, John? Yes, and the second thing they'll know is that they've wrestled two men, not two limeys, two men! We've heard Quinn and Nagasaki's threats and predictions. Well, Neil and I aren't going to make any of those. We just want to get in the ring and get on with it. Right, Neil? Yeah, right. The Lewisham Theatre, and just before the big tag match that everybody's waiting for, a really special... main bout of the afternoon this tremendous tag contest of 40 minutes in the ring already Tony Sinclair and his partner Neil Sands and here comes George Gillette who will of course lead in Kendo Nagasaki his partner the mighty John Quinn Our tag match now in the ring is made over a time of 40 minutes and will be decided by two falls or submissions or knockouts. It's a great pleasure to introduce to you, coming out of the red corner on my left, the all-English pairing of Neil Sands, partnered by Tony Sinclair. And now, from the blue corner on my right, I introduce to you first, the mighty John Quinn. And his partner, presented of course by gorgeous George Gillette, is Kendo Nagasaki. Tonight's your despair because Kendall and Quinn are going to fill you in. The referee for this contest, Mr. Billy Finlay. Thank you, John Harris. So here it is 40 minutes, tag team time. Two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, or two disqualifications to decide the winners. There's Neil Sands having a road gag with Tony Sinclair from Red Ruth Cornwall, now residing, of course, Manchester. Both around the 16 stone two mark. John Quinn, the usual single leotard. And Kendo knows Nagasaki, of course, no trouble with that identification there. Gillette, his manager, it's not Bola Hat and Dolly. <laughs> Billy Finley, the referee from Belfast, is having a problem getting this started. With it. Commence wrestling before George Gillette, the manager, even gets out of the ring. Tony Sinclair has gone out on his tag rope. I think Nagasaki... No, Nagasaki's taking on Neil Sands. 40 minutes tag, two falls to the side. The masked Kendo Nagasaki. You haven't seen Neil Sands for quite a time from Ilford, Essex. Turned pro in the 70s. And he left wrestling for a while, came back in January last year. But it's the first time we've seen him on television for quite a few years. Neil Sands of Ilford. Partnered by, no, I thought he was going to tag his partner there, Tony Sinclair. 
He offered it. Tony didn't want it. Sean Quinn on his left hand corner. You can just see his hand on the rope there, staying obediently on his tag rope at the moment. How long, oh Lord, how long? Over the top forearm smash. Knee to the forehead, hardly a wrestling move, but uh, Step. After the man was down and attacked, in comes John Quinn for the first time with Nagasaki holding Sands in position for it. While the referee talks to Nagasaki, Quinn, of course, delivers a couple of punches. Nagasaki right knee comes into operation again from outside the ring. I think Tony Sinclair over in the other corner would just love to get tagged here. So finally, Tony Sinclair tagged. Us at ringside having recovered after Nagasaki dropping in on us. So it's Quinn versus Tony Sinclair. Not so easy for Quinn now. A little help from Sinclair and over he goes. So it's Nagasaki versus Sinclair. Sinclair trying to get the mask off there. Every heavyweight wrestler's ambition is to take Nagasaki's mask off. It's only been done once in my memory, and that was by Count Bartelli. And curiously enough, it was Nagasaki who took Bartelli's mask off after 20 years. Nagasaki tags, in comes Quinn versus Sinclair. Follow <laughs> 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 down, back elbow, the throat. And a try on another one. And a punch by Sinclair. 
it's really a boxing match here. <laughs> the Finley doesn't know what to do. This one to stop. It's being ridiculous. <laughs> both punches by both men. Public warning to Sinclair, public warning to Quinn. This is his first public warning. And ladies and gentlemen, Tony Sinclair receives his first public warning. Well, that, somebody had to get a public warning there. There was a boxing match there. It's in the round for Reg Guthridge. Press and he's secured up the weight. Now Nagasaki was right in there to make sure that he didn't stay. In comes Sands, Neil Sands versus Quinn. The inside hand shots going on here. Nice back drop, nice one. Follow down cross press. Can you Sands hold it? But Nagasaki gets him off. And Billy Finley doesn't like that. So Nagasaki gets a public warning for everyone in the ring to help his partner Quinn there. Great figures. While Quinn held it. The referee Finley's got a heck of a job here to watch all these three, both of them at the same time. Sleeper, Nagasaki sleeper, yes, he's checking the right arm. And a backhanded shot before his man gets up. Well, three of them got a public warning against them already. Brendan Nagasaki, of course, and also Tony Sinclair. But no sign of a score yet. Still the best of three falls this tag contest. That was intentionally thrown out. No count. Tony Sinclair comes around to check his partner. Okay. Stand back, he said. Nice switch. One way of getting him out. Sinclair helping a bit. That was a punch by Sands, and that was another punch by Sands. In fact, he's continuous punches by Sands. He really lost his cool there. They're looking after his partner's interests. So just 30 minutes left in this tag contest. Sinclair stays in versus Nagasaki. Tony Sinclair again trying to unmask him. He's got his mask up to the nose. Nagasaki's had enough, in comes Quinn. And it's Quinn Sinclair now. Oh, great post, he's a powerful man, this Quinn. Would 
Bigfoot waiting for him. Hoping to get a good back drop in. And a drop kick by Sinclair. He was always good at those. Slam from the cross hole. And his leg down in the throat. But the pilot of Fugos Press. And a count of two on it. In comes Sankasaki. So it's Quinn standing on his man while the referee's talking. The referee talking to Sands. In the meantime, the action's going on in the opposite corner. Pressure points. Nagasaki. Oops, but low that one. He managed to reach the tag, Nagasaki, so it's Quinn comes in versus Sinclair. A punch. This time he got the back to right. Follow down a bit late. Not part of the same move, says referee Fenway. Wouldn't allow that continuation shoulder press. a good fall at all that went all the way Sands racing after him to find out how he is but he seems to be okay gosh they take it how some of these men take a fall over the top rope eight feet at least above the floor nice drop kick by Sinclair off the top rope and he's counting them both Quinn and Sinclair. Heat of the hand, that punch, really, I think. By Quinn. Referee was right there, he didn't worry about it. A beauty. Inside of the forearm, followed on almost no, not part of the same moves as referee. Absolutely right. Sands making sure that Nagasaki stays in his corner. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Twenty-five minutes to go, and it's kicked off again by Nagasaki. Every time there's a pinfall chance for Sinclair, Nagasaki comes to Quinn's assistance. Over the slam, third. All the way down, but St. Sam's feet were waiting for him. He's right up there, he landed right on them. And his Sands comes in against Quinn. Should have an advantage here. No slaps or anything else there. Get up to the stomach, head butt. And a bite. Headbutt to the head. Flying headbutt. Oh, 
and trying to keep Nagasaki away this time. He manages it. Punches going on here. Sands now. And another back shot. Sands almost falls into a cross price position. No, no fall. His hand hadn't quite come down for the count of three. Or two and a half there. Sands versus Nagasaki now on a tag. Sands in trouble, but Tony Sinclair. Couldn't resist coming in and arguing with the referee. Should be out of the ring. A tag. And it's Quinn versus Sands. Yes, punch. Public warning number two for Quinn. Well, there's some public warnings flying around here today. Sinclair has one, Quinn two, and Nagasaki one. Sounds another punch by Quinn. Four on that time. Corner post off, cushioning off. And referee getting thrown all over the place by Sinclair as he comes in. And anything goes now, punch is flying, and the referee's got lost control completely. The referee must disqualify them now, this is ridiculous. Both men lost their pool, especially Sinclair, throwing the referee away. So the bell goes, and it's got to be stopped. That's quite ridiculous. Quinn used to all American rules, but that is over the top. Now, oh. see what John Harris says. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has made the decision that one man from each side, the mighty John Quinn and Tony Sinclair, are both disqualified. Both disqualified, oh. Quinn disqualified, and Sinclair disqualified. So it's up to Quinn and Neil Sands to continue this. So ladies and gentlemen, the referee has confirmed with me that counts as one fall to each side, and the two remaining men will continue the match. So the match continues with one man in each corner, and the first fall is the one that matters here, because each team have got one score, being a double disqualification. Sands has got to go some. Sands the only one without a public warning against his name. Nagasaki has won. Again, the flying headbutt by Sands. Still in Nagasaki's corner. He hasn't gone back to the dressing room where he's supposed to be. There he is, standing right by the corner post there. Going to help his man back in the ring. His opponent this time, because he thinks his partner's got an advantage here. This is a Nagasaki special all the way over the top. Ooh. And that looks like Sands might be the end for him now. Yes, he's not going to make it. 
So Quinn and Nagasaki, the winners, by one disqualification and one pinfall. It should turn out to be a knockout because he didn't beat the count. The only ever victorious wrestler, the one and only Kendo Nagasaki with the kamikaze crack. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in 21 minutes, the official result, remembering that although it finished as a single, it started as a tag match. So the winning team from the blue corner, Kendo Nagasaki and the mighty John Quinn. And as George Gillette takes them back to the dressing room, the, the winners by the one knockout. Let's have a quick look at the finish of that bout. And this is how it happened. There it is. Sands sent right across the ring for a posting. Nagasaki following him up closely. Sands doesn't come back quickly enough off the ropes. And he gets that kamikaze crush. The speciality of Kendo Nagasaki. And that's what got the knockout for him. And with that win for the Nagasaki Quinn pair, it's goodbye from all of us here at Catford. Hope you've enjoyed this session. Have a good week. Till next week.